Let's talk about The State of the Art by Ian M. Banks, which is technically a short story collection. Really, it's mostly a novella, The State of the Art, set in his culture universe. That's over half the book. And then seven other short stories. And the headline review basically is most of the short stories aren't worth uh, the effort. Uh, the novella is pretty good. Uh, there's a bit more to say than that, but uh, yes. Uh, it's, it's the only collection of his short fiction and includes the acclaimed culture novella of the same name. And it's multi-genre. Uh, I don't know if he wrote any short fiction, um, any other short fiction that's not included here. It is all speculative fiction, by that I mean it's, it's all some sort of experimental or sci-fi or horror or fantasy. Uh, so even though I guess it names him as Ian Banks on the back, I don't assume there's any real world fiction in here. You know, it's uh, debatable perhaps. But yeah, the, it has uh, some art throughout as well. You know, a piece per story, pretty much. Um, yes, let's just say that the short stories, uh, Road of Skulls, Forgettable Gift from the Culture, which is a culture story, at 20 pages, I think it, it's one of the longer, it's not quite the longest, but it's one of the longer short stories. Gift from the Culture is pretty good. Uh, it's a, a kind of culture system, it turns out that he's hired to shoot down a sh you know um, a, an aircraft and he is to use a culture coded weapon that he needs to you, you know only he can use because only he has the right uh, genetic profile and it's you know it's uh, pensive and uh, a, a little dark odd attachment and cleaning up are both gag pieces and they fit into a, a, a tradition of British speculative humor there's not just speculative you can read it in um non-speculative fiction too but think about people like Adams and Pratchett and Banks is definitely in that I don't think they're particularly good uh, but you know some people like them I guess from what I read uh, Descendant is probably the best short story I think it's probably better than A Gift from the Culture uh, it's without it being anything you know too special uh, as I say none of the short stories are blow away very rarely is a short story really um, you know all out effective I think for me uh, you know, they can be good. Uh, but, yeah, Descendant is this guy in his, in, who's in his AI-driven suit walking around um, a world. So it's a high-concept setup, uh, and it has very satisfying, um, effective payoff. Peace uh, is... Uh, yeah, Peace is sort of... E probably Banks just telling you what to think, but it's not clear, because Banks is a lot more subtle than that normally. Um, and uh, yeah, there's there's a sort of bit of a twist in terms of what what is going to leave you think about the main character who is basically it's him recounting at some level his problems with um, call, I mean call it religious radicalism, uh, you know, and it's touching on Salman Rushdie and the Lockerbie bombing and things like that, uh, and. It's there's obviously a, a a strong degree of aggressive rationalism which Banks does definitely partly believe or share, um, but it's you know it sets it in a slightly better con bigger context. It's 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 written effectively stylistically, uh, but it is it's not really a story. It has a twist, but it's not really otherwise a story. Scratch the final short story is a some sort of strain a stream of consciousness. Um, let me read you some. Three, be beat me up, Scotty. Of course, there's the spin-offs. Gemini gave us non-stick frying pans, or was it Chuck Yeager? Fist food well anyway. Of course, there'll be peaceful applications. The solar-powered television on my watch would run off the space-based lasers. Uh, it's it's some it's a kind of satiric, parodic uh, aim at um, you know the way in which. We excuse misuse, misinvention, misdirection of technology, you know, and eventually perhaps we'll all get nuked. It's not worth reading. State of the art is good though. <laughs> and it, it, interestingly, it came out before uh, use of weapons, but it shares the same main character in terms of the narrator, Dizzy, uh, the narrator of state of the art. Um, not the main same main character strictly, but the secondary main character of uh, state of the art, Dizzy at Smart, who's a culture um kind of contact agent and uh, also her her associated drone uh, Skeffen Antiscore is that it 
uh, who appear and are important in use of weapons. And I love use of weapons. I've reviewed it on the channel. Highly recommend it. This is very different. This is something where it's a weird novella because, and this is the main criticism of it actually, is often a novella is here's one big idea or here's one big image or here's a monster who the hero is going to fight or, um, you know, so uh, Joe, Joe Lansdale, you know, his, his uh, various... A dead man's road novellas in that uh, and and long short stories that I've, i spoke about in that book collection are here's a cool interesting monster to fight and some other stuff happens maybe or brandon sanderson uh though often his novellas are pushing into short novel territory really either over forty thousand words which is the hugo qualifier uh but you know here is some concept and area in the world we're going to investigate you know we're going to look at this and banks so the setup is that contact comes to Earth and it's like, oh, look, here's Earth. What did this very advanced space communist utopian place um, civilization think of Earth? And it initially plays it for a, almost kind of like a it's more a satiric gag more than anything. Um, but then it does other stuff. But the biggest thing is that it doesn't therefore really have a plot. It has a plot. By that, I mean, there is a chain of events. But the plot, in that sense, doesn't matter. What we've got is a platform for a discussion, both about Earth, but also about Banks' idea of the culture. And it, it so the weakness is, there's not very much that happens. It's like 100 pages or more uh, of a culture novel. You know, it's, it's, it's the 10th culture novel, as it were. There's nine actual novels plus this and a short story. So you, you're like, man, I want to see what happens. What kind of crazy world are we going to? Okay, so I thought that's interesting. What crazy plots, <coughs> what crazy plots is going to happen? There's no plot. But what there is, is a really effectively executed platform for talking about the culture and Earth. And it's, it's interesting because it's not just about Earth. There is a degree of satire and criticism of how we are. And of, uh, I mean, there's a funny thing where the way in which Banks is incredibly historically located in the late 80s with, because I think it's um, 89, um, and there's a mention of Berlin and the Wall, which are maybe for Banks, in terms of, not in terms of the story, but in terms of Banks, are even, it may have even been published after the fall, but at least, you know, talking about a point where um, Soviet-led communism is on its knees and... There is a complex interaction with that and the culture, which is a communist, you know, communist in a very generic sense. There's an interesting, there's a good line. I'm not sure it's actually true. I suspect it. There's a degree of advanced idiocy in it, but there's a good line about the idea that, uh, you know, the communism they have going on on Earth and the socialism they have going on on Earth uh, is actually ridic you know, ridiculous and dysfunctional because it's defined in opposition to another ridiculous dysfunctional system. Whereas obviously culture, space communism, that works. Um, you know, as I say, not as a true line, but it's a good line. Uh, it, it captures something of, uh, of our experience of politics, if nothing else. Uh, but yeah, it, there's this kind of like sense of, ah, it's captured in the late eighties, fall of communism, Reagan and Thatcher, um, Thatcher obviously for banks. And it's incredibly in that sense historically siloed and I don't know if he realizes that that's one thing uh, but that doesn't really matter that's that kind of satiric element actually you realize there's a lot more going on in terms of the think piece and it's basically that Dizzy at Smar Smar is uh, she's sent to go and talk to a guy who wants you know basically he he's fallen in love with Earth in some sense he's gone a bit native he's one of the contact crew and his take on what's going on and ways in which though of course the culture is more advanced and better in lots of ways i don't think there's ever denied like there is a counter argument and we're not given a resolution and in fact you see consider Phlebas, um not player of games use of weapons experiments with this a bit but uh the two novels up to this point player of games doesn't but consider Phlebas absolutely has a hero who is like a a, a mercenary from a third culture fighting for the iderans who are this kind of honorable warrior culture who are fighting the culture who are not honourable, not warriors, but they're very, you know, everyone's very happy and, you know, it's very good for everyone. Um, so you've got this thing where you've previously had this issue raised already and it comes up again in the culture novels, but now we get um, just an, a sustained argument against the culture. And Banks definitely is for the culture and, and certainly you get the sense, you know, you know where his sympathies lie, but his brilliance is that he... 
he is raising this up, you know, and, and in that sense, I think this is not actually an amazing instruction to the culture. I think it could be, it's okay. I think if someone was thinking, wanting to say, oh, I really like the idea of this kind of really intellectually engaged sci-fi, I'd love to kind of, you know, I, I don't have time for 500 pages right now, I can't commit to that without knowing it's good. Do you have something to recommend me? Then you could say, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think you just say read Use of Weapons or Player of Games. They're shorter. They're 300 pages. But the point is, you might say, yes, read this. This just has is really well written, really engaging, has some good characters, and it has like a good discussion about how the culture under, comes to understand itself and kind of... And, and, and I guess seeing... You get three main or four main, if you, you you know, count the computer, there's three crew members plus the mind who is the AI, the kind of vastly advanced AI of the ship they're on, who give their perspectives on these discussions about the Earth culture, what should happen to Earth, if if you're an advanced alien civilization seeing Earth, what should you do, that kind of thing. Um, you know, all this stuff, it's very clever. Um, and though there is not, in any strict sense, a plot, um, in terms, you know, in 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 the in a kind of material sense there is actually a plot but there's not really a plot materially um there might as well not be if you can cope with that then it's not a bad introduction um i think for culture fans who have read you know oh, i've read four or five culture books or i've read two culture books should i read it the answer is is yes if you like the culture this is a very good novella it and it re it's nice to see smart skeffin am to score uh it's kind of it's very interesting to get one of the things Banks is best at, actually giving different opinions, even though he obviously sides with one. He only he personally sympathises with one. He's really interested in saying, look, things are complicated and what is valuable, both it's subjective in one sense, but also it's um, it's not, the whole thing is, is not a sort of simple sum where you can just be like, okay, well, this gets better. This is how things are. There is, and you see that in Consider Phlebas, you see that uh, here, um, and you see it elsewhere in, in, in the culture novels, that even, even in a very complicated context, albeit in use of weapons, you know, the way in which, uh, and, and in some of the later books as well, uh, is it um, surface detail, I think, is what I'm thinking of. So these issues of the culture trying to improve things isn't a simple uh, you know, cost benefit where it's all on the benefit side, and so yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, I liked it. Uh, yeah. So that's a partial recommendation. Um, if you have read it, tell me what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time.